Hello and welcome to the stream. Um, I basically started this timer 28 seconds ago, so ha! You are you are you are in there. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, let's see what we're doing today. Uh, hopefully, I, I managed to write that up. Probably not though. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish up our uh, replit that we were doing earlier that measured waypoints and found uh, FAA facilities closest to those waypoints. And then we're going to go ahead and make this into a little Google Pages thing. Um, but first, because I forgot I was going to do this, um, see, I'm going to write it down right here so I can read it just while I'm doing it. Um, now, we do know Replit can use GitHub. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it could pull repos uh, from GitHub as well, but I don't know if it can push back to them. Obviously, it would need some special permission uh, to push to my repo, but that that would be okay. And the, and the issue here is, um, you know, I, I improve these libraries, or sorry, change these libraries, uh, whether it's worse or for better or for worse, um, on Replit. And then uh, when I and I do download them, you know, with download a zip, but then I have to re-merge them into my GitHub, uh, the Git libraries that I have. And I avoid that problem uh, with Emacs uh, because now I actually have a secure shell mount uh, to my main machine just for the just for the Git stuff. So when I'm changing a file here, it's really being changed on my main machine. But when I change a file in Replit, of course, it's not being changed anywhere. So um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go back to oh that's really nice. Um, I'm not I don't say new Repl because I think I might already have. Um, I think I already have a pull of my uh, of my old uh, of my uh, repo. Although, th oh wow. Um, although I, I would sort of think I would remember that. Okay, this actually might be. Actually, let's take a quick look at this because this might come in handy later today. This might be a pull of my uh, page uh, Google Pages repo. But I'm going to look at this real quick. Um, Okay, so apparently not. Um, and I don't want to necessarily push this into my pages repo, although I now have to remind myself uh, to um, merge. It. Well, let me let me see what I've got here, real quick. Um, yep, I do have BC lib staging and BC libs, so I've got to merge this in in case there are any changes. And I'll make a note to do that. I'll do that a little bit later. Um, Virgin Twitch pages, REPL, lib. Yeah, I know you can't see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So I made a note to do that. Now I need to download this as a zip uh, to make sure. And okay. So let me go back again and see if there's any that I've already done this way. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Amazon. Thank you for the Amazon Prime. Hello. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Hey, 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 hey. I, I waited for Megalobyte to read somebody else before I went online. I literally waited because I she's such a wonderful person. I didn't want her, uh, you know, uh, basically destroying her viewers by raiding me. Because let's face it, I am boring as fuck. And honestly, fucking isn't that boring, so I'm more boring than fuck. But anyway, since you voluntarily came here and apparently left the raid on Bevanation, um, you know, Okay, and that, I don't really know what these symbols mean. Um, the, I know, I mean, I remember the old-fashioned, I'm, I'm into the, like, the old-fashioned emoticons. Like, colon smile, colon dash smile, eight dash smile for sunglasses, that sort of thing. And, of course, um, because I'm so freaking juvenile, let me do the ones that, one of my favorites, of course, is this one, and it's not eyes. Uh, it's boobies. <laughs> it's boobies. And I guess I can see it on stream because I keep forgetting that I have this on. Um, that's the angel, I think. That's the angel or the devil. That's the devil. The angels with the O for the halo. Um, well, thank you for joining. And um, I keep forgetting that I have chat now. Okay, I'm not going to say what that is. Um, but uh, that is a. Um, <laughs> there, there's more versions of that too. And and by the way, you know, only four equal signs, dude. I mean. I know I'm not that exciting, but you know maybe maybe you can get a couple more equal signs in there for me. Um, okay, 
Okay, now I'm trying to return what the hell I was doing before. That's pretty funny. Um, okay, let me... Ah! I'm trying to find it so I can... Yeah, one day I'm going to figure this out. Uh, so I can see when a new message comes up. Unfortunately, I can't... Um, I don't think I can set it to get notification. I mean, what I want is the pop-up notification. Let's see you get some more in there. Doesn't just happen by its... Oh, God. <laughs> well, you think you got to work for it, girl. <laughs> is there a way to get notifications from... I don't think there is. Um, it would be great to get pop-up notifications from this because I'm, I'm running on a very crowded sort of screen. Uh, I am thinking about doing multi-pages. Um, it... But not like right or left because um, basically I can't because I'm in a VM. Uh, but maybe just with like a little uh, pager or something. But anyway, um, and let me um, let me actually thin this down a little bit, and then put it over to where I can sort of. God damn it! Okay, I can sort of see it now. I mean that's that's the best we're gonna do. Okay, so trying to get back to where the hell I was, which will never happen. Um, okay. Um, we're going to talk about whether we can push, uh, pull in my existing Git into REPL so that when I make changes, I can push them back and uh, I have so, sort of total synchronicity. Although one of the points of Git is you don't need total synchronicity. Uh, you can have different people editing the file in different ways and then remerge it unless they happen to be working at the same place in the same way. So I mean it, it, there is a uh, an argument for not doing this and using git properly by um, by you know just allowing the changes to occur. However, that's not a good argument because I'm not going to accept it. Okay. Um, let's see game, that's really informative. OS min 3D map stuff. Okay. Well, if I do have it, it's not been updated in ages. So let's go ahead and make a new one that we're going to call... Uh, God damn it, I've got to stop doing that. See, usually I check chat very obsessively, but no one notices because, you know, I'm doing it from an external window, which maybe would have been a good idea. Um, but now every time I do it, I realize you guys see how obsessive I am. It's kind of annoying, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do a new REPL. This one we're going to have to call... Oh, interesting. Um, worry, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's interesting, actually. Um, import from GitHub, that's what I want. Well, it looks like we already have some... Uh, the repository is too big to import. Well, there you go. That's why you can't do it. Um, wow, well, I should probably not have all of these here. Um, let's see if we can import Barry Carter pages. Okay. Okay. This this has bad idea written all over it. Ugh, every time. Uh, and this actually is the home page. It says greetings visitor. The only really good stuff in here is um, is under maps. I think you have to go to maps index or something to see it. Um, it might be even worse than that. It might be like maps BC tester lib or something. And one problem with um, REPL is that um, it will only run the index page. So my index, this is my index page. If we run it now, we will just see. Oh wow! Configure the run button. Uh, and I'm not sure what to do. So if I hit run, isn't configured in the replet file. Ooh. Interesting. Um, well, that that's really... Um, wow, I can't even say run equals in it. It's okay, it's apparently I was being... Um, a bit too haste. Wow, every time you hit the quotation mark, it just goes away. So, th oh, it's not bash. Well, shit. Okay, so this is this is a much bigger problem now. Um, apparently, all of this stuff I'm pretty sure it thinks is server side. So I didn't know I could run a server side thing here, but that's kind of nice to know. 
Not helpful. Run! No. Oh, apparently it accepted it, but it just made it kind of hard for me to see. Run equal quotation mark. Still here. Um, go to the effin web page. Which well, looks like fin, but anyway. So now when I run it, unterminated quoted string. Oh my god. Okay, so this was like clearly a terrible idea. Let's screw that. All right, so we will go ahead and do it the other way. We will go ahead and do it the non-stupid way. And I am so embarrassed by this attempt, I'm actually going to delete this REPL if I can figure out how. I, th I don't think it's actually that hard to delete a REPL. Go over here. Uh, then you go over here. <laughs> you have to go to the wrong thing first. Oh, come on. I don't... Why am I in my REPLs? No, 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 no. I want to be here. God damn it. Piece of crap. What happens if I... Seriously? I can't get rid of this? Um, well, this kind of... Oh, there we go. And now, somewhere in here, there should be a big red delete button. Um, good stuff is hidden. See, that? that is, that is, that is true. God damn it, I did it again, and... It worries me more that people see me doing it than I did it. Because it's like, I thought I got away with it. But no, everyone saw that. I checked chat for no reason. I'm going to go ahead and put a message for myself. Oh, okay, there we go. There's a nice smiley uh, smiley face there. I'm going to put my own message in here just so it's a delimiter. So unless I see green or something after it, I know I'm good. Uh, and I get the little video icon there too. Okay, cool. So now, I can't see the video icon, but I can kind of see that it's my own name there. So, anyway, what the hell am I doing with this? I'm trying to delete this, I think. And clearly that is a uh, difficult thing to do. No, I don't want to do any of that. I want to... What is this? Clone it? Run it? Um, help, help, I'm being oppressed. Well, let me go back and look at my REPLs. If we can't delete it, we won't delete it. Um, oh, here we are, pages one. Delete! Yes, I really want to delete that. Okay, so screw that idea. That didn't work. Let's go to Twitch Waypoints. And let's go ahead and bring this up in a new window because I think that's what we're doing. And I think we, we found this was working in terms of... We, we need to add a few more things to print out, but it is working in the sense of, you know, working. Um, all right, since we have annoying people in chat, no offense, give me the name of two cities that are not too close together and we will run the test on them. And you have to do it within the next minute or so, because otherwise um, all the people who aren't watching the stream will get bored. So two cities, not too close to each other. They don't have to be super far from each other. But um, so that is the request to chat there. Two freaking cities. Any two cities you want. Well, OK. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. We have. Okay, New Jersey is technically not a city, but we'll go with it. And Moscow. Alrighty. So now this is a program I wrote, I wrote like somewhere, some other time, but um, BC City Find. Um, Moscow. And New Jersey, which will just give me the location of the state. But uh, I think we're limited to, um, I think we're limited to, uh, in the in the in terms of waypoints, we're li limited to FAA facilities, so we're probably not going to be very exciting, but it is still somewhat exciting. So let me see if I can figure out what the hell I'm doing. Unlikely. Longitude. We're going to go from New Jersey, which is at longitude this sucker, and is at latitude this sucker, and we're flying to Moscow, Russia. It's very good country. Longitude there. Destination, latitude, there. See so what happens. It's ten waypoints between uh, New Jersey and Russia. Okay. Um, yeah. So, apparently, once you get far enough away from the United States, we're just going to get uh, repeats here. And they're going to be pretty far away from Russia. Um... What face? What, 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 what face? Are you surprised by these results? 
there, there are several problems here. One is these are the latitudes and longitudes of the stations, not of the waypoints. Um, this distance is not in miles, it's apparently in degrees or something. I'll, I'll, we need to fix that. And we also need to, um, well first of all we need to round off a little bit, Th this is too much precision. Um, we also need to distinguish between the waypoint longitude and latitude and the station longitude and latitude. And we're going to do that uh, just now, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it just now, because you know, otherwise not really much to do. Alright, so what we're going to do over here is we're going to create uh, headings. This is a very simple table. Um, if anyone in chat, meaning thank you Amazon Prime, the only guy in what type? It's an FAA facility is the name of these things. These are FAA facilities. Um, let me show you a whole list of them in, in JavaScript. It's a little bit big file. But it basically, these are like, I don't really know what they are to be honest. I'm answering somebody else's question in, in uh, geography, in GIS.StackExchange. So to be perfectly honest, I don't know exactly what these are. But this is a starting point. If I can get it working with this, and I, I downloaded a list of, uh, oh, hello, Notice30, very nice to see you too. Wow. I've got two viewers. I hope it doesn't run in my head. Um, so these are like a bunch of FAA facilities. I think some of them are just like towers. I don't even think that they're necessarily airports. They might be landing strips. There's quite, there's quite a few of them. There's like 10,000 of them. So they might just be like points where America has some sort of presence. Um... Daft Brug. See, I don't know what these mean. I'm, one day I'm going to get like a lesson on emoticons. Okay, so what we're going to do back here is we're going to add... Um, we're going to be terrible people here and we're going to abuse the table format. Um, so when we are printing the table here, uh, actually we have a table border up here somewhere. There we go. Um, we are going to... Uh, Actually, we're not. Sorry, I got too carried away there. We're going to um, we're just gonna have one field called waypoint, and we'll stuff both the latitude in and latitude in there. Um, and then we'll put in station. I think we can get away with putting in POS in there because it's not it's not. Um, th we're gonna go out to at least four decimal points. Um, so I think that's gonna be a little bit better. And I just checked chat, as you could see. All right, so here we have, um, let's see. Okay, so I, I think we added one column, but let's go ahead and do this. Um, now, comma, space, and then we're going to not end this thing here. This, I'm already worried because uh, it's going to be, it's not clear whether I mean longitude, latitude, or Let's do this then. Uh, waypoint, pause, new line, which you're not supposed to put in table entries, I think. And then station position will also be long lat, but just for just for clarity, we'll say long lat. Okay. Um, so now we need the. Um, this is the FAA closest uh, long lat, but now we want the um, the actual waypoints long lat. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And that is coming in from, in this, we're, oh, it's just the, um, now I know, I know that I'm going to get this wrong. Um, okay, these are in radians, so there. Um, but, um, as much as I like putting stuff into strings and using interpolation, we, we're going to do something a little, little bit nicer here. Um, I want to use printf to print these things, you know, to a finite number of digits. Now you're going to say, hey, you don't have printf in JavaScript. That is correct, we do not. We have something called number format. Well, let's see if we can, I was going to say there is someone wrote a printf, but let's, let's see if we can, um, let's see if we can use number format. Maybe it's not as bad as everyone thinks it is. Uh, JavaScript number methods. Um, to string, that's not really what we want. To fixed. Ooh, very shiny. This is what we need. So now, I'm going to revert my earlier decision, and I'm going to go ahead and put this all in, in here. So this is a number. 
Now, why are we going to go to four decimal points? Well, four decimal points is one ten thousandth. Um, one degree consists of 3,600 seconds, 60 minutes, 60 minutes with 60 seconds each. And we do, getting down beyond, the, uh, one second is about 100 feet. Uh, and getting down below that, most people don't give fractional seconds. So getting down to the second is good. With four decimal points, we're down to the, um, we're down to one third of a second, which is about 30 meters. And at that point, really, your facility is bigger than the, uh, the precision that you're using. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, and actually, I'll be very careful here because I still need to be inside of my dollar sign. Uh, keys closest. Oh, man, if this works, I'll be impressed. Two fixed, four unstop doing the thingy. Okay. I, I think I made a lot of mistakes here, but let's let's see what happens. Yep, I've made enough mistakes that I've broken it. F8 is not a function. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, closest. Okay, more faces. Thank you. Um, F8 closest long is technically a string, but I think it just wants me to put parentheses around all of this. And when I say I think, I mean I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. All right is not a function. Okay. So we may have extended the ability to do this. Let's let's go ahead and um um okay. This is print waypoint longitude. That's what I mean it to be. And we're just going to console log it cuz we we kind of need to figure this out uh without having to reload the page every time. Um so password, uh, blah, 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 blah. the printing version of the password longitude is, um, I said of the waypoint longitude. Okay, we n now gotta be careful here. We gotta be really freaking careful because I think this is in radians. So we do need to do this: divide it by the C lib degree to convert it back to degrees, um, and then take that and put a two fixed four on it, and then. See, watch it break. Oh, frick, I need to hit the button for something to happen now. And so I need to go over here and just hit the frickin' button. Doesn't even have to do anything. Um, oh, yeah. I guess I do have to do something in here. Uh, Ten. We'll just copy it out of here. Okay. I feel like I should have some like background music that automatically plays when I'm not when I'm quiet, which is very rarely, but often enough that it. Uh, you're listening to the awkward silence of. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. And more importantly, we want to know what shows up on the con console. I did I need to clear the console? I probably did. Okay. Ooh, oh yeah, I still have that floating around here. Hang on. Let me go ahead and not do that yet. I think we're just going to end up creating separate variables for them. Um, there's a limit to how clever you want to be. Uh, I mean, in theory, we could even do the printing in a uh, in a loop. Uh, if we had these as all being array variables, we could put the printing in a loop. We could con we could convert to the printing form in a loop. But I mean, that's kind of getting kind of stupid. Oh come on! Frickin' frick frick. So when I do a reload here, oh come on, it doesn't even remember the frickin'. Okay, fine. One, two, three, four. And you know what I can do here uh, that is actually um, vaguely useful? Um, I can put in a, a prefix value. So let's go ahead and do that. This is not great practice, uh, but it is actually not bad. Yes, I, I realize I just said two things that are exactly the opposite of each other. Um, this is helpful for testing, and it doesn't really harm production uh, because people can always erase these. So there is a special thing in text where you could give an example value 
without actually making it the value in the in the um, in the field. But that is uh, that won't help us with this current problem of the field emptying itself every time. And I'm tempted to change the destination to somewhere in the United States, but you know what? Let's stick with it for now. We might learn something from a destination that's pretty darn far away. Um, and actually, we, won't, we might learn more that way. So let's let's go learning now. So reload. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do reload. I meant to do run. I'm a freaking moron. Okay, console, nothing on yet. Hit the button. Console says... Okay, that's not good. I, I think that's... Um, I, I don't know where the undefined is coming from, but it doesn't look good. Alright, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. What am I doing my... Um, What am I doing my two fixed? There it is. Um, eh, okay. Um, okay, so even I'm sort of seeing that you probably want to do the division first and then the two fixed. There's only so far uh, order of operations will take you. Okay. Um, yeah, that was really useful. Um, I can, I know how to print a string. I'm very smart. All right, let's do this. All right, let's run the sucker again. Hit the button. Look at the console. Okay, so this is actually looking pretty good. Um, it would be nice to fill out the latitude to be, the longitude to be three digits, because it can be up to three digits. Um, And it would really be frickin' nice if this 0.49... What, what is my input latitude? Maybe that is actually that ugly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that w wherever this is really happening, which is, I think, New, Jer New Jersey, this is negative 74.5. But whatever. For some reason, it's showing up like this. Not a problem. Okay, so we can do that. And then, of course, if we're going to do it for this, we should do it for all of the things we're going to print. Um... So tempted to use like a array or something, but honestly, uh, the printing waypoint latitude. Honestly, it, at some point, it just gets kind of stupid. Okay, the printing station longitude. That's a lat. The printing station longitude is. This is where it gets ugly. The printing station longitude is. Um, You know, maybe, yeah, maybe I should put this, because this is getting really ugly, um, keys closest um, into a variable instead of being this ugly without it. Okay, so that, F okay, now we already have a variable called closest, which gives us where in the array, uh, where in the array, uh, this closest is found, and honestly, I do not, I'm going to regret this, I do not see a problem in making closest um, the actual, the FAA keys, J, because I happen to know that's, that is a key. So why don't we just do that? That'll break everything else, but of course that's what we want. Uh, and then let's go ahead and console log that to make sure it's what we want. You know, one day I'm going to be consistent, but not today. Okay, closest. And that should be like a, um, like one of those funny number values that you see on, uh, like, like one of these. Um, nope, don't see it. Actually, it'll be in the result. It'll be one of these, um, actually, never mind. It won't be. Screw what I just said. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and bring this back a little bit. Um, run. So, oh, whoa, 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 redeclaration of PW long. Yo mama. I didn't, oh, okay, sorry. Station long. Kay. Whoa. 
Oh, I didn't change either of them. I'm I'm an idiot. Um. Let me double check this. I think maybe I'm I'm. Oh right, because I was gonna do these, and then I d then I said I'm gonna change the way we're doing them. So I'm just gonna um, put something that definitely won't compile in front of them until I can fix it. Okay. So um, oh, actually I can't. Okay. I need to comment this shit out until we're ready for it. Now, let's see if the 100 billionth times the charm. Compute, console log. FAA keys closest is undefined. Okay, good, 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 good. That's fine. I'm going to have to make this a little bit wider so we don't block ourselves. Um, what is closest equal? Object, object. That's, that's actually kind of correct. Okay. So, let's see. That's uh, FAA keys J. Um, yep, I knew that was going too far. It's actually, we just want keys J. Because we need to know the name. We don't have the name stored in the object. We only have it stored as a key. Uh, so that is what we want. This should be a string. Whoa. FAE keys closest is undefined. Okay, I don't care. Closest, there we go. This is what we want. The closest is the ID of the station that's closest. And then it's going to be a lot easier for us to, um, to to get stuff out of it instead of having to go all the way to, like, you know, keys closest, blah, 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 blah. So this is fine. This is fine. Station longitude is going to be... Um, okay, let's get, get this curve correct. FAA... Um, of closest, which is now the correct ID, times longitude. Now, I'm going to be careful here because these are not, uh, these, <laughs> man, one day we're just going to figure out a single way to do degrees. Um, these are already in degrees and I multiply them here, so I don't need to re-multiply them here. I don't need to do anything with them here. Um, I just need this to fixed four. Um, and then latitude, pretty much the same thing, FA closest, latitude, and we, I don't know what the order of operations is when it comes to, um, dots in, uh, in, in, uh, JavaScript. But, but, you know, at some point you really shouldn't even rely on that. I mean, you should just, you should definitely be doing it this way. Um, and then, let's go crazy here. Uh, I is just a waypoint number, so that's fine. This is going to be actually closest itself, because that's the ID. And here we're going to say FAA closest facility name. Did we gain anything from this? No, but we did waste some time. So always worthwhile wasting time. That's why I watch everybody else's stream. But sometimes there's just not enough streams to watch. So I've got to actually create my own. And the min, let's go ahead and fix our problem with min here. Um, TurfJS distance, we used to have a page up here on TurfJS. I'm going to go ahead and try to make a, uh, download the documentation, and, right, because of course TurfJS is not the name of the site, it's the name of the thingy. Um, and come on, do we have any downloadable documentation? Almost never. Wow. DOC. That word does not appear on this page. And this is the home page. But let's look at good getting started. Maybe we have some documentation here. <gasps> yes, we do. No, we just have the word documentation here. The documentation below, this is not documentation, dude. These are three, ex this is an example. Um... Intro to turf, I guess, maybe. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Oh. They even have a little example here. Shiny. Can I move this? I can't. Oh, I can't. 
Can I move where this is? Okay. So lots of demos, and to be honest, I don't, you know, I, I'm not good about documenting my stuff either. No, no, not the infinity effect. I'm actually waiting for the infinity effect to occur. Watching me, watching me, I am so exciting. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we need to look at turf distance, and uh, I guess we kind of had something useful. Let's go ahead and um, bookmark turfjs.org. That's what we're going to be able to do. So distance, and now we're going to go ahead and do the distance in miles. Um, I mean, we could change it later on. It's not really a huge thing. Um, the default is kilometers. doesn't seem correct. Hmm. No, it, it's more than 240 kilometers to Russia. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm not convinced. I don't, I think the default maybe isn't working. We'll go ahead and use miles because that is the correct unit that everyone should be using. Um, so JavaScript has the convention that the third object which is actually a good convention here, um, uh, that the third object is the options. Okay, so we're going to do this with, um, with miles now. And we're going to throw a slight bone to our, um, to our European friends by putting up here distance and then mi dot. Or, yeah. Well, let's just go do it that way. Okay. So now, we have this, closest facility name, closest, no, we don't want to, we're not going to actually print the longitude and latitude as we kind of said we would, um, but I can't remember, um, oh yeah, we did P PSLNG, uh, okay, and PS lat. And we have given the order above, so we should be okay. Um, this is going to be the waypoint uh, longitude and latitude. Gotta be careful because the comma is not part of it. Um, I think that's okay. Uh, another, and this is, of course needs to be a curly brace. Uh, I could have, of course, put this all up here and actually done maybe treated that as a string or something. Um, and we do not have a separate uh, entry for that anymore. Pretty sure this isn't going to do what it we want, but let's see if it actually does something. Well, it didn't crash. And we got something in the console. I agree that's not a... Where the hell am I calling it, though? Uh, line 55? Mm. FA closest to LNG. You know what I'd be pissed out about? Pissed out. Pissed off about is, I bet you anything that it thinks of this as a... Uh, string so it doesn't want me to do um, it doesn't want me to try to do math on it um, if this works I will be very sad and it's not the right way to do it if I multiply it by a floating point number that might force it to become a number uh, but honestly that is not the right way to do it and of course it works so the problem here is this uh, closest LNG is a um, Close to G. Yep, 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 yep. Is a string. Why there is no two fixed method on a string, I do not know because it knows it's a number. Um, okay. And I will use my famous when I write bad code to do find a better way to do this, not star minus one. Okay. But star minus one works. So does that mean we actually got some results here? I mean, I can't really see them in this little... Yeah, we did. So let's go ahead and go to our real one. Run it. Actually, we need to reload it first. Run it. 
Okay, so let's see what we're getting. Okay, so we're, we, we missed, we're off by a little bit. Um, yeah. I think maybe uh, dist takes in degrees, not uh, radians, like it should. Because um, clearly we're not 126 miles from Russia. And also it occurs to me that the distance needs to be... Um, uh, the distance needs to be rounded off as well. So let's do that. Um, so we'll call it... Uh, oh yeah, he, over here we, uh, we need to figure out if distance needs to be sent as... Um, Turf distance needs to be sent as. Um, oh yeah, it looks like they are using. Um, they are using uh, degrees. Good. That makes things even worse and more complicated. But. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm going to hate myself for doing this with them or break something. Which is why this is a good time to download a zip. Okay. So it appears that we all the conversions we did from um, radi uh, degrees to radians was mostly unnecessary because turf wants uh, degrees anyway. So this is fine. This is probably... Yeah, I think that's okay. We do want our results in um, in degrees, but we do not need to multiply the degrees by uh, the thing that converts into radians. So let's just do a console log res here to make sure we're okay. Play, put the button, watch the console, and res equals object object um, let's see, oh so over, over here we break it res down into uh, uh, its arrays, do we actually use anything except for the um, we do not, we might as well just make the array from here I was hesitant to do that earlier because I didn't want to convert and also do that so this is just going to be whatever array this returns um, play button. I feel like a frickin' bot. Oh! Res array is undefined. That's not cool. Oh yeah, it is now because we we mess with it. But res is beautifully defined as these triples of longitude, right, longitude, latitude, and the number one. Because that's our that's our earth radius. I mean, we're measuring things in earth radii. So that's fine. Okay. All right, so this is good. So now we need to rewrite this code. I'll leave this here for right now. Uh, res length. This is simpler code, so I like it. Uh, res i0, res i1. And see, again, I'm tempted a little bit here to just put the first coordinate is really just res i now. It's not, we don't have to separate it out. So this is code refactoring to make it shorter for no good reason. Um, and for the FAA, we don't really need it to be converted to radians anymore. So now this is kind of ugly, not using an intermediary val value here. Uh, it's not too ugly because, I mean, it is just two fields. And unfortunately, I don't think I can... Um, these are just, I have to put them as separate values. I don't think there's a, uh, an array field that contains them both. Uh, because I, I converted, I created the JavaScript file from Perl. I could obviously recreate it to, you know, have this little array of longitude latitude to make this easier. But at some point, um, that's kind of pointless. And I guess the default unit is uh, kilometers, which is wrong, of course. Um, so we will change that to miles. And when I mean wrong, I mean just like at a fundamental level. 
because we are not going to use the freaking metric system. Can't make us. And if we do, we'll get it wrong and bad things will happen. Okay, so this actually looks a little bit nicer now. Um, that looks a lot nicer. Um, yeah, that's a much better looking function there. Alright, so then password longitude is... Oh, right, over here... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, now it's just basically res i is the longitude and latitude. And we don't even need to, um... We don't even need to really do this. We can just go over here. And this is a little bit ugly. Res 0 to fixed 4. And over here we can just say res 1 to fixed 4. We don't need intermediary variable. Yo mama. We don't need intermediary values anymore. And I think we can do the same for the but let's let's see how let's see how far we've broken it now. This is a pretty good time to look at how how badly we break things. Okay, no console errors right away. Do this. Console error. Res zero to fixed is not a function. Oh my effing god. Okay. And Now, is there anything you can do to make res um, a number? Um, um, wait, 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 wait. Um, oh, we're looking at res i. Sorry, this is actually uh, standby. Yeah, my bad. We're looking at res i itself as the array. So let's go back over here real quick. Um, because I'm passing it as longitude. So it's, it's, it, we are actually still within the i loop here. Okay, that, that's actually a good point. So that is actually res i 0 and res i 1. And again, we're kind of pushing the limit here of, uh, of not using new variables. It doesn't hurt to use new variables. I don't think it, there's a real performance cost. Um, but I just... I hate my life, and that's why. Okay, let's see if this works now. Okay, we still need to fix that little uh, glitch there. So, do I believe that we're 5,840? The closest U.S. station is 584,003 miles from Wiley Postville memorial and I and I actually do believe that. Um but let's let's check. We could go on we could go to Google, but I like using my own thing. <laughs> that was funny. Um do I have the G C dist alias here? No I do not. G C dist Moscow Russia. And I don't exactly know where um it, it's in Alaska, so we'll just say Wiley Alaska and hope there's a town called Wiley Alaska. Okay. Didn't like that. Okay, for some reason it's returning a little bit faster than it should. Let me try that again. All right, can you find uh, Fairbanks, Alaska? Oh yeah, okay. All right, we'll say Fairbanks. I mean, it's. I mean, the, the idea is to get a very rough idea of how far away uh, the closest U.S. station is. Forty-one hundred miles from Fairbanks. So this says. 58,004. That's a little bit suspicious. Um, that's, that's a little bit suspicious. Uh, and let's get these columns cleaned up a little bit. Okay, now I'm okay with checking uh, chat because it was, it's been a while. Um, and let me move this. God damn it. I need to set my auto raise to be like a fraction of a second higher in FEWM. Okay, let's go ahead and make these into the correct, uh, go ahead and put these in the right positions here. Okay, so our positional order is, um, oh, we can actually just look at it from here. 
Uh, so the zero ID is fine. Then we want the name after that. So we can. Uh, this is just going to be moving these things around. Um, name, then the waypoint position, then the. Oh, do I want to not? I'm. I'm, I'm going to leave it. Um, then the minimum distance. Now for miles, we don't really need four points of precision. I mean, that's way too much. We will give two, which is actually probably too much in and of itself. Um, so let's see. So let's see if we have what we want now. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I'm actually not super happy with this, but it is technically the answer. Um, so you're leaving from Six Flags. Well, okay. Okay, and so it's saying basically there's, you're not leaving from a waypoint here, um, which is fine because you're not. You're going to be six miles away from it. And at the end, uh, actually, this I was going to say this looks incorrect, but actually I think that's right for Russia. 55 degrees. Oh, it's, it's right there. So yeah, that's correct. Okay, so are we actually, um, yeah, I, as much as I appreciate you guys' input there, um, I think we're going to m change uh, Moscow to something that's more uh, in the United States. Um, okay, if anyone's still there, a city in the United States that's far from New Jersey, or not too close to New Jersey. I'm just talking to myself. Okay, ten, five, nine, three, it's up, time's up. I'm just gonna put in Albuquerque. It's a little Easter egg I'm gonna put in there. Uh, I know where my uh, why am I doing this? I know where I know where Albuquerque is. Um Destination longitude is going to be minus 106.5. That's our city. And I think that actually is uh, that is actually the airport. So it, it itself is a waypoint. So when we end here, we should see us right on top of a waypoint. And um, assuming I'm correct, then that is not the city center, which is not the same place. And I should could change New Jersey to something that's actually a city in New Jersey. I'll change it to Newark because that there is an airport at Newark. New Jersey. Um, so let's put that in there. That's going to be very close to that value, of course. Um, longitude of this sucker. So let's see if we're actually going to fly between two waypoints. And latitude will be probably very close to that value. Uh, yeah. Okay. And if this works, I think I think I'm going to save it. Well, actually, I probably should save it anyway. Let's go. That did not work the way I expected it to work. Oh, because I need to do a shift reload here, because otherwise it won't reload my uh, my values. There we go. St. Benedict's. Okay. For some reason... We have gone beyond this great circle to Spring... I know where Spring Revolve is, actually. Um, okay, a couple of things I want to look at. First of all, are we... Is there more information about this that would give us a better idea of where the hell it is? I don't think there is. If you look at the original file, which we will in just a second. Um, I, I mean, I'm tempted to use no burr or something, so this will stay on one line. Or I'm tempted to make these all like, um, you know, split the line on all of them. Uh, in which case, I almost feel like you have to put a west and an east. You can't just use numbers. Uh, but now we're just getting down to design steps. Uh, but the fact that we went to Springer, this is bad, that we went to Springer Romini. We shouldn't be going that far. And this looks okay. I mean, it's Newark Airport, so I'm kind of surprised that St. Benedict's is the closest thing. And the third thing, let's look at real quick to see, are do these things have better names than just 
uh, what the names are. And let's go ahead and go to the original file, which I have loaded up. Here it is. Um, so I guess they do, actually. Um, Honolulu Control Facility. Um, okay. I am probably... There's like a bajillion thingies here. Um, all right. So the program I used to... Um, hello, 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 somebody has... Hello, a streaming meme. How's it going? Nice to see you in the chat. Nice to see anyone in the chat. I'm very lonely. Um... Okay, so the program we used to parse this actually also did something a little bit nicer, uh, if you remember, which I don't remember, so uh, I, there's no reason you should. Um, uh, okay, let's see, what do I call it? I called it something very incomprehensible. All right, I do know it's fairly recent, so I can go over into uh, BC Git Maps and do a ls minus lat, which I have um, waypoints. It's called BC Waypoints. Okay, good. No one's changed it. Um, so let's see. If we can so these are the things I'm taking from it. Um, but I think. Okay, and this is just getting the headers out of it, which, as you can see from the well commented uh, nothing. What are we, sorry, what are you making? Okay, um, yeah, it's good. I'll explain it again, not a problem. Um, what we're making here is, uh, we're answering a question in uh, Stack Exchange. Let me see, I should have it bookmarked, so it should not be too hard to find. And when I say I should have it bookmarked, I mean I do not have it bookmarked. All right, but it, it is high on my, it's going to be somewhere, on, oh, I'm not even logged in? Seriously? Frickin' hell. Well, I don't want to be in meta, sorry. I want to be in, like, astronomy. That's one, one, one sec. We'll get there, maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Log in. Why am I not logged in already? And why is it not remembering who I am? It's very sad. I'll explain what I'm doing from here, then. Um, given a uh, departure point and a destination point and a number of waypoints, we compute those waypoints, although technically the first waypoint um, is, the f is the point you start at, and the last waypoint is the one you end at. So you're actually computing n minus 2 waypoints. Then we find the FAA facility that's closest to that waypoint. And this was a question on Stack Exchange. And uh, the um, I think the person was sort of saying, you know, if I'm flying from here to here, and I want to remain within a certain number, you know, I want to be remain close to the checkpoints, or I might need to land somewhere. These are these are sort of the places I can land. Um, and the current unhappinesses with this are, I think I can get a better name out of it than just the name, but I'm not sure I can do that. Um, there's for some reason it's spitting out an eleventh point um, that is beyond the destination, continuing on that great circle, and. Um, I'm not super happy with the formatting, but that's probably not a huge deal. So, so the, the problem that is least important we're solving first, because that's how I roll, and that is the problem of, um, of seeing if we can get better name information on this stuff. Um, so let's see. Latitude, longitude. At one point, I actually had this all printing out all of its crap, too. Um, but not anymore. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do um, debugging for better name. So it's going to be the keys of the hash that is dollar sign $i. Debug. Um, dollar sign J goes to dollar sign I dollar sign J. And if you don't understand that, <laughs> you're you're in good company. Um, I 
I'm gonna put a war in testing here. Does this? We don't. Well, okay. I guess we don't care. The rest of the stuff doesn't really do anything interesting, but it might print out some crap. So BC waypoints minus to bug pipe to less. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, the stuff we are picking up here is well. Let's go to Honolulu because I like Honolulu. We're not actually going to Honolulu. We're just going to the name Honolulu. Okay. So here is the. Um, okay, I'm going to put a, like a new line between this because it's really confusing. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to put a um, yeah. Just which is just debug nothing. Uh, so we have a line between the the various facility names. So let's go ahead and do that. Once again, go to my friend Honolulu. Okay, and then we'll w wait till we have the little new line. Where's the frickin' new line that separates them? Not cool. All right, hang on. There. And that'll actually create two new lines because of the way I do this, but at least it will be uh, some... So are we getting? There we are. Okay, so we are getting now um, double spaces between the uh, the facilities. Okay, here we go. So the record for Honolulu starts here. Um, oh man, wait, what? Oh shit! Hang on, hang on. This might not be Honolulu. Um, right, that's the responsible name. Sorry, the the name of this is actually the. Um, is the not the site number uh, facility name so we're looking for Honolulu as a facility name um, so let's go ahead and keep looking um, okay apparently Honolulu is like a honor that's kind of nice um, so we're looking for all right and again we're way past the, the where this is efficient so we're looking for where the facility name is, Honolulu. And I just missed it by... All right. Facility name, and that's going to be one thing, is Honolulu. Okay. Well, that was kind of stupid of me to think it would be. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and look at the, um, the facility names here. Adaka, da 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 Okay. Let's take a look at just the facility names to see how stupid they are. And grep is not a command, and I think I have my grep set to be grep minus i. So this should work. Yeah. Um, okay, these are mostly stupid looking names. Cape Decision Lighthouse? Seriously? Chicken? Really, just there's something just called chicken. I'm annoyed. Um, okay, well this one's going to be easy to find at least. Snowshoe Lake Airport and Seaplane Base. That's a, that's a good, good thing to have there. So let's go ahead and look for that one, and hopefully that's only a facility name. Man, I wish I hadn't done that. All right, but let's let's do it anyway. Snowshoe something. There we go. Okay. So the record for this starts here. Up up here. Um, a lot of this stuff is crap. Manager CZ is Glen... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the same thing as being there, is it? Um, state name. Okay, so state name might be useful, actually. That would be, uh, that would be a good thing to have. So let's pick that up. Um... Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to just pick it up first, and then we're going to not use it necessarily right away. 
Um, okay. County, state, we're not going to, we're just going to use the full name, I think. Um, yeah, see, I don't think Glen Allen is where this is. Well, let's find out where it's located using our friend Google. Um, and I, I'm, I don't know if I've got the right file for this. It looks kind of weird. Um, okay, so the NDB name is Glen Allen, so maybe we could use that somehow. I don't know if we have that here, though. So is there any place where it's just Glen Allen? See, responsible, so... These are apparently like private frickin' things or something. Um... City. That's what we need. City, state. We can live with that. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back over wherever the hell Emacs was. There it is. Uh, so we want the... So there, I think, I think now we have enough information. Now I'm happy. All right. So all of this is going to remain the same, except we're going to change the... Um, Wow. We're going to change the real name. So what we're going to do here... Um, parcel attitude, okay. okay. Better name. And... FAA info key. Um, we're going to be obnoxious and call it good name equals um, one moment interruption there FAA info key and then it's going to be the um, it's going to be the facility name followed by in parentheses boy this is a long way to say FAA okay uh, the city and comma space state name just we kind of the normal way of doing things. Uh, state name and parentheses semicolon. And then over here, when we come to print it, um, so at this point we actually probably want to render the object ourselves because we're going to have there's a lot of um, fields that we're getting that we're not using now uh, we're not using um, state name or, well actually there's not that many state name or city name so what we're going to do here is, is we're going to say um, let's make sure I got that right um, if it's equal to um, the exact value of city or state name, we're going to skip it. Okay. Oh, actually, sorry. We're, we're, we, already, we already have some skipping going on here. And we don't need to skip. We can skip it before we evaluate it. So if it's uh, either of those values... I'm going to do a second regular expression here. Or, or dollar sign $i equals... Um, no. That's what I meant. Or if dollar sign equals... Uh, begins with city name... I guess we, can, we don't have to be that paranoid. City or state name, uh, we also skip it. Um, oh, or I guess we could say even if it's the uh, facility ID because we, we, we're replacing that. And I don't think I can spell facility correctly. Now another way to do the same thing is up here. We could have actually just deleted it from the um, from the key structure, but I'm not quite willing to go that far. Um, or am I? No, I'm not. Okay. So let's see if we have any questions here. We are not. Okay. So now, if this runs correctly, which it won't, but if it does, it'll give us um, a JavaScript output of, let's see, facility this, 
And just as I thought, the good name is gone. Uh, for some reason, I think I'd put it inc incorrectly actually though, so let me look at that again. Hmm. Okay. And I think maybe here, no, actually, that looks like it should work. So why is it not? Um, so we're going through all the keys of FA Info J, which one of them should be good name. Aha! Here's why. Because when I'm skipping name, I'm also skipping good name. I was being too, uh, too smart for my own good. So we're just going to call this lowercase name, and we're going to annoy everybody who thinks you shouldn't use a lowercase version of a variable that where you have an uppercase version already. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Let us, okay. Oh, this looks beautiful. So we have latitude, blah, chiefs at Dunbarton, New Hampshire. Three forks. This is gorgeous. I like this. Okay. So we're going to have it replace our existing file, which is stations.js, I think. Whoa. Where's our, hang on. We might not have a stations.js in my git because I decided it was too big. It might just be in temp. Yep, that's the old version and that is 2.8 megabytes. That's not that bad actually. Um, if I compress it, it'll be better, but Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, we'll do it. So we will go ahead and say BC. Okay, I don't want to use my own name on this because this is actually somebody else's workstations. Okay, I am going to copy this stations. Wait, 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 why are we getting a test? Hang on, that's bad. Uh, we should not be getting a death test. Oh, that was a warning that we were testing because I was uh, skipping over some code here. Um, which I think I'm not skipping. Well, what the hell? Oh, right, because the rest of this is actually attempting to solve the problem, which I decided not to do. Die testing is probably a very scary way of saying it, but it, we do have the re results we want. So I'm going to go and copy stations.js to temp and overwrite the old one, but in GitHub we're going to store it as a bzip file. And I think that's going to make it really, really tiny. Yeah, 430k. So now we have it in temp, and the reason we're doing that is because we need to re-upload it to Replit. Um, and we'll need to make a minor change. Wherever it says facility name, we, we will need to um, we'll need to replace it with just name. So I don't want to delete this. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete it. Then I want to upload a file, stations.js. And I don't know why it defaults to there. I don't, I don't really upload from there. Stations.js. And let's just run it to make sure that didn't break it by itself. So let's take a look here. FAA is not defined. Well, that's that's never good. So let's try that again. Okay, it ran. And now if we compute, it gave some results. Name undefined. That's gorgeous, actually. That's much better than I was hoping it would be. Um, so let's go over here and look for the phrase facility name and just use, well, right there, name. But is there any place else where I say facility name except in things that have been commented out. Nope, that's it. Very nice. Reload. Check to see if anyone is... No, no one is. Run. Ah! This looks... It's, it's longer, but it looks much better. So here we are flying from Newark, New Jersey to... We still need to fix the Springerville. Arizona? Seriously? Um, but, but this is much, much better. Okay, so we have the full name. We are flying through Pennsylvania, Ohio, Missouri, Kansas, Beaver, Oklahoma, which you just gotta love that name. Um, Albert, New Mexico, which even I don't know where that is, and I live here in, in New Mexico. 
uh, and then in Albuquerque, and then for some reason we're going to the 11th point, um, which is kind of weird in its own way because we, we tell it how many points there are. So clearly I have effed up some code so badly uh, that um, that um, that I need to fix it. Okay, it's going to be over here, and I'm pretty sure it's just called waypoints or something like really easy. Yep, there it is, return a list of n waypoints. So you're kind of wondering why the hell it's returning a list of more than n waypoints when it knows that it's supposed to return n. And it might be because of the way I do this for loop. Okay. Um, so the idea here is... Oh, we actually console log in and I, so that's actually really nice. So we can see what the hell's going on here. Um... Because when you add ang over n, which go way over ang plus 1 over 2n, which is 1 over 2 over n, which is 1 half 1 over n. Um, although somebody actually told me that was really confusing, and if it's, and it's, you know, and if it's wrong, it'll be worse, because that means that I effectively confused myself. Okay. n equals 10. Okay, we actually probably meant to say i, not n, obviously. That would be kind of silly. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Um, hopefully this is not a major problem and this is like just something minor that I missed. Where the hell is waypoints? Find my waypoints. Oh, no. Wait, what, where the hell am I returning waypoints from? Oh, maybe it's from this hash that I return. Um, oh. I am not looping through a, uh, okay, so I'm not looping through a, through integers. That's not cool. Ang will be fixed, but let's go ahead and print it out anyway. Um, so now I'm worried. Now I am worried. So compute. Don't give a rat's ass about the answers. It's wider here. Okay, so the angle is this, so this is one tenth, so this is zero, one tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenth, five tenth, six tenth, seven tenth, eight tenth, nine tenth, ten tenth. So now over here for some reason it goes way bigger than the angle. Um Okay. And I think I know what I did wrong. I have the, f this is a, like a, what they call a fence post condition. Yeah, over here I said keep going until, um, in this for loop I said keep going until we're up to that point. I actually get minus here. Um, as long as I is below this midpoint, this should work. Um, right, because there's one extra iteration of the loop, that's why. So, that should be the correct thing to do. Because after it hits this condition, that it's more than this, it'll still go through the loop, I think, and then stop after that. I actually have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Um, but that's normally the case, so I'm okay with it. Uh, let's see if that helped. Unfortunately, if it helps with this condition, we'll have to test it on some other ones to make sure we didn't break it for everything else. Um, uh, I did break it for this condition. Awesome. Um, the tenth point is no longer at our destination. So let's see... Now, a lot of you are saying, why don't you just say less than, you know, the value you want it to be less than? Um, in other words, why don't you just say less than, where the hell is my for loop? Less than ang. And I don't know why I don't do that. I don't know what right. Why, we just really want i to go up to ang. So why don't we just make it less than ang? And the problem is then you're doing a floating point conversion. 
but I am now going to cheat. Um, I am not going to loop through, which is a bad idea to begin with. I am not going to loop through um, floating point values. I am going to loop through, uh, this is going to be J in just a second. Um, actually, let's make it J now. And going from 0 to ang, that's a note to myself, J is less than or equal to n, because we actually do want the, the case, and then j++. plus plus. So now we're just doing integers, which is much, much nicer. So now we're going to just define I the way we want it to be, which is um, ang times um, j over... Is that really right? Is that all I need? So when j is 0, that's the first point. Um, yeah, when j is 0, that's 0. When j is n, that's n. That is, like, amazingly simpler than I thought it would be. Alrighty. Press Mr. Button. Get Mr. Console output. And, yep. That was a much, much better idea. Now let's see if it fixes our problem here. So we start off at and we end in Albuquerque Regional Medical Center. So this is looking pretty damn good. Okay, well what if we wanted uh, 25 waypoints instead of just 10? Okay. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Well, just we spend more time in Pennsylvania then, I guess. Ohio. Um, distance in miles. Um, Okay. All right. If anyone in chat wants to suggest a test here, um, if anyone in chat is awake or wants to suggest a test, please go ahead and do so now. If you have any questions, comments, anything, I will now be addressing you, the chatters, if you wish to be addressed. I'll just drink a beverage and product while I'm waiting. Um, okay, guess not. Um, so now we want to put this on Google Pages. Um, so how do we do that? Uh, I don't know. No, actually it's not probably that hard actually. Um, a really easy way to do it, which is total cheating, and I'm going to do it, is to download this as a zip and unzip it into a directory in my Google Pages Git, uh, which when it gets pushed will basically be um, will basically be you know what's live. So let's go ahead and do that. Download a zip, good deal. And we're going to go over here. Um, you know, I probably should have put the chat on the left, because it's much easier to have the right cut off from the left. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to make the chat thinner. I wish I could make myself thinner, but you know, there's only so much you can do. And that is going to be like that, so I should be able to see anything else that comes in. And then I can move this over here, and then this over here, and then this over here. Okay. So let me go to my Google... Oh yeah, I don't have my Google Pages um, Git SSHFS here, but let's go ahead and do that if I can find the damn thing. Um, I'm on another machine. You can't see what I'm doing. That's okay. We'll come back to the main machine here in just a second. Maybe. Okay, hang on. Um... I just said Google Pages, didn't I? I meant GitHub Pages. Wow. There is something called Google Pages that there was once. Um, wow. I am losing my frickin' mind. Um, okay, this does not tell me... Oh, you know what? I actually have my push to... Um, 
I have my push to, to the pages BC get um, actually aliased so I happen to know this will tell me BC get pages pages okay oh oh no it's a different directory unfortunately all right so we're gonna need to mount I think we can just mount all of BC get pages but let me check to see if there's anything stupid in there no literally pages is the only file in there okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure we first of all we're gonna add it to the uh, the general startup rules and I think I can actually do this now. Yeah, I think we can do this now. Well, let's get this a little bit away from the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this to the startup routine. And we do need to reread that. Um, and unfortunately, I can't change it. The start. I keep forgetting um, that I, I, I have a mount on top of a mount. So anything I change here won't get changed on the real machine. It'll get changed on my real machine, not on this VM. Um, so, um, however, the sort of, okay, actually, no. I'm gonna make a note to myself to fix that, actually. Hang on. Um, and that has to be done on this machine, doesn't it? Doing fix SSHSS to include BC get pa there's other places I have stuff too uh, that right now I'm not going to be um, that that I'm not going to be looking at right now. Um, I do freeze and unfreeze this machine, so a lot of this stuff isn't lost. But unfortunately, the secure shell uh, file system uh, mounting is lost. Now this is not the thing we need. Uh, I just need to look at it because I want to make sure it's. Um, um, you know, as long as I'm here, might as well do a little bit of maintenance. Um, this is my main machine, but it looks hideous like having to do it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and edit Etsy hosts, which obviously I have to do as, as root, because it's a, I think I have to do it root. Um, th th these are like actually, um, these are actually like, um, let me actually go over here and I'll, I'll see show you that we had some uh, um, see it's ma they're maintenance tasks uh, and there's two things I wanted to do one was to add um, Sao Paulo which is the name of my main machine that's running uh, this machine which is La Paz by the way um, and allow uh, user to sudo without having to uh, without having to put in a password so um, Let's go ahead and do that. sudo emacs etc. sudo sudoers. And we'll do like a thing here. And this is a different emacs that will come up, assuming it does come up. Wow. Which emacs? Do I have emacs alias to be? Wow. Okay. It's going to come up in the terminal. Oh, I see. Because the, um, the password it needed for that. Hopefully that'll be the last time we need a password. And what I should be able to just add, oh, hang on. Oh, okay. So I guess we're already done there. We don't need to do that. Uh, we do need to add the user user to the group wheels. And I'm pretty sure, again, I'm going to need the sudo for that. Let's see, group should be it. And do I need Etsy password for this? Um, apparently I'm already in the group wheel, so I'm not happy. Okay, so I guess the thing I need to change isn't putting this line in there. Um, I need to figure out where the password list stuff is. So th this actually should be documented in Sudoers itself. This shouldn't be too hard. I went through a lot of steps for no reason. Um, without needing, same thing without a password. Okay, this is what I wanted to edit. Done, done. Now it's possible that it's going to um, it's going to not ask me for a password just because I used a password so recently. 
but that's a different issue. So let me just put a maintenance note here. And then let me sudo edit Etsy hosts. Okay. Um, and I don't think we need to give it a full name or anything. And we will let this machine know that its name is Lapath or Lapath Shared, depending on uh, how I feel on a given day. Okay. Now, if I've completed that task, which I have, uh, we can now um, uh, we can now go ahead and do the SSHFS that we wanted to do. And again, this is not the right command. I'm just using it to look at. So USSF at Sao Paulo home user bc git pages and we want to mount it on top of home user bc git pages which I'll bet you anything it doesn't exist yet so it's going to complain yep so first got to make dir bc git pages now we can SSH alright because I put a Etsy host it now sees it as a new host but it is actually the same host um, and I don't know if that information is uh, private or not. It probably isn't. I hope it's not. Um, it's just a randomly generated key when I created the Sao Paulo. But let's clear it out anyway. Okay, fascinating. So now we have um, it's actually going to BC get pages. Uh, um, pages. And I guess I should, um, should I actually let people look at where stuff is instead of, um, <laughs> instead of screwing them over? Um, it's very tempting to just leave it like this. And so in the index page, you can't tell where the hell it's supposed to be going. Um, let me go ahead and bring up the, uh, no, 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 not this thing. GitHub.io slash... BC apps, which I think is, no, it's Barry Carter actually, it's me. BC apps is Brian Cap, so I'm sure he's a wonderful person. Um, why am I not going to the right place here? Oh, oh, oh it's, uh, sorry, it's Barry Carter dot pages dot github dot io, and why don't I have that uh, bookmarked? Still wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ. This should be bookmarked. Okay. Um, so as I said earlier, the only way to really find stuff in here is if you know where it is. So I think this is what I want, grid. Yeah, this is what I want. All right. So let's go ahead and make index.html a little bit friendlier. Greetings visitor, here's some crap. And we'll do an unordered list. And we'll end our unordered list here. Our first element will be ahref equals bclib tester. That HTML work. Bad map. And our second will be the thing we're just about to create. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, sort of tempted to put this into subdirectories called REPL and then um, waypoints. And then from here, we should be able to unzip the latest version of Twitch waypoints. And I don't think it's going to create a subdirectory, but if it does, we can, we can work with that. And let me make sure 13 is the latest version. It is. Okay, so now if all goes well, when I push this, uh, well, let me go ahead and fix index.html just to be a nice guy. Um, so this will be REPL waypoints, and I think the index.html will get caught by itself. And actually, let's go ahead and make it a solid path from the top. Um, bad app. Put a little bit more for them there, there. Okay, let me go ahead and push this to GitHub and see what happens. I can't push it from the other machine, sorry. Um, because I, I don't have the correct keys and stuff. 
uh, the secure and uh, checkpoint, which is the only thing I will ever say about these things. Um, all right, so now let's go ahead and go to here. And is it finished? Hang on, let me make sure it's finished pushing. It's finished pushing. Reload. That was not cool. That was not cool at all. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe it takes a while? I don't know. It's kind of strange. Oh, maybe it has to deploy this, so maybe it, it will take a while, actually. So, this is good stuff here. Um, now, I'm going to post this as an answer to Stack Exchange, but I know it's not an answer. Um, so, I'm going to have to disclaim the crap out of it. Um, and that's actually going to probably take more time than writing the actual answer. Um, but it's worthwhile in the sense of not being worthwhile. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit unhappy now. Hang on. I want this pages to actually now come up correctly. Yes! Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, am I missing a... Um yeah, that would be better if I ended it as a list, not as a UL. These tags were balanced. Uh, let me go ahead and push it again real quick. Not even going to bother to check this time. Okay. So now we are ready to begin on our... Well, we're ready to find the problem that we're answering because that would be kind of useful to know what we're, what we're doing. And then we're going to kind of answer it. Okay. And I think it's listed in bogeodesic.html. If it's not, I'm going to be very unhappy with myself. There it is. And everything after the number here is actually just uh, syntactic sugar. Uh, we don't need it. Okay. Okay, seriously, I'm going to have to log in at some point to answer this. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, I don't actually know how to <laughs> log in. I just stay logged in forever. Let me see what, let me see what I have here. Um... Seriously? This can't be right. If this is correct, I really, really need to change this password. Yep, I really need to change this password. Okay, I'll make him to do that. I have a really basic um, password here. Uh, one of my older passwords that I share, even. So that's really bad. Probably announcing it on stream is also bad, but uh, I think that's okay. I and mean, then I will be changing this password uh, probably tomorrow, actually. Um, okay, and by the way, I mentioned the live stream here. Alrighty. And he does keep the longitude and latitude, right? Oh, if he doesn't, we're in trouble. Well, actually, we're not, because we, we, we have it. Okay. So, we will now begin our answer. Oh, these are notes for the answer, so good, 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 good. Um, uh, I need to point to where it is. And it's not in BC app, so I actually need to figure out that. This is not an answer, comma, but I've written, um, nope, that's not where I want it. I want the version on GitHub. Good. Yay, it's fixed. I screwed that up somehow. Do I need an index.html? No, I don't. So what the hell do I, is it just waypoint? We were there, weren't we? 
We were there. Let me look at my history real quick. I need a menu bar. Um. Yeah, this isn't particularly helpful, but... Do I need an ending slash, otherwise it doesn't redirect? Okay, so what the hell is wrong with this? Am I, um... Oh. It needs to have a pages in front of it. Both of them do. Uh, hate my life. Do that, save it, push it, push it real good. Okay, so that'll probably work when it works. Um, but for right now, I can just go directly to the, um, this thing. which computes FAA facility waypoints computes any number oh, hang on of FAA facility waypoints between a given pair of longitudes and latitudes notes and now I can just go through my bullet list the source code just go source code and gosh darn I wish I remember actually this is not a huge deal because GitHub will tell me all my repos and one of them is the pages repo why oh why do you not remember me GitHub okay hang on this one is not the same password I hope unless I'm really really stupid Oh, I want to log in. Wait, what? Where is the page for fucking logging in if you already have one? Wait, seriously? I know there's a way to log in. Sign up, sign in. Uh, you already have an account. Where can we log in? Seriously? Is there a log in anywhere? Let me bring this up a little bit further. There's no sign in, there's no login, there's no login with a space, there's no sign in without a space. Okay! Awesome! You motherfuckers are really complete assholes. Why can I not get to my... Is it like to the right hand side or something? Is it like if I do this? There it is. It's only available if you do something stupid. But it still doesn't remember my password. Motherfucker. This, by the way, is a really big problem, is people assuming when they make sites that everybody has insane resolution. You really need to make your site work for all resolutions, you motherfuckers. Not that I feel strongly about it. Um, and this time, Firefox better ask me if I want to save it. I do want to save it. Yes, I know I've been added to that... Uh, <laughs> the good stuff is hidden. <laughs> yep. That is correct. 
Um, oh, I don't have the read me in here, which is kind of a nice, um, nice way to screw people. I re really need to be a little bit better about um, keeping my tabs like this. Um, yeah, this should be fine. The source code is in JavaScript. And all files you need to run it are above, in the source code above. Uh, this is a... Okay, there's two things I want to say about that, which is... I'll find it in the code above. Um, The code does not make any server connections. If you download it, you should be able to run it even without an internet connection. Okay. Now, I don't know if you mentioned the language. I hope you didn't, because I kind of screwed that up if you did. Um, I don't think he spells root great circle, so he didn't. Um, um, oh, he was actually looking for, he had an existing API. Awkward. Hmm. Oh, but the API wouldn't accept blindness anyway. Um, let's see. Okay, so I think the answer I'm going to give him is not even an answer, is not even not an answer uh, to his question. So I think I've double fucked this up. But, you know, now we're going to just blast through uh, and pretend like we're answering his question. Um, uh, since the code is in JavaScript, uh, although the code is in JavaScript, the code is entirely client-side. Um, 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 the functions I use are in bclib sta uh, staging.js and bclibjs and should be fairly easy to port to other languages. That's a lie. They're not. They're very hard to port. Uh, but, you know, we don't say that. Okay, I've written a very basic proof of concept page at um, okay. I probably need to mention where I got the data. And actually I probably need to remember where I got the data. Okay, and we need to mention, um, where did I get the data? Fudge. I'm really bad about not sourcing my data. So, an easy way to find it, by the way, is, um, wait. Oh, it's in, did I put it in lib? Oh, no, I put it in stations.js. Okay, hang on, that's, that's why. Um... So let me see. Um, okay. And so what I need to be looking for is NFDC facilities That's that's where I found it. I'm gonna be seriously pissed if I haven't um, 
sourced where I found it. God damn it, I never do. I'm pissed, but I'm not super surprised with myself. Um... Another good thing is I don't know actually which fucking date I had it from. Um, that is not a complete... Oh, those are just the modifications. Um, yep. Let's see if I have it in my history somewhere. Sadly, I get the feeling those are just the searches I did just now. Oh, actually, I said all history. And I don't think I saved history long enough to do that. Yay! Sucky! Um... Bookmarks? Nope. Downloads. Yeah. This is a nightmare. Um, where did I? Pretty sure I got it from a government site, so let's go ahead and limit that to site. Pretty sure it's the FAA that does this. Um, oh, here we are. Um, uh, not NASA. I want FAA. Okay, cool. So I somehow got this data. Don't know how. I'm gonna check on my main machine real quick to see if I got it from there somehow. That might be, I might have it, um, I might have the page there in history. Um, God only knows though. Oh, here it is. And I can't go directly between machines, but I can do this. Um, I can do an echo and put it into uh, uh, LaPaz shared home user. I'm going to actually just do LaPaz um, I think home user is the only thing that's okay. Um, okay, so I've now put it into a file called foobar that I should be able to access from here because it's SS, it's secure shell mounted. A uh, good thing to do here would be to figure out um, where my X term is. There it is. There it, what? That's not what I wanted. In fact, that's really, really kind of, oh, that is what I did. Hang on. Stand by. I echoed the wrong thing. I guess I could just put it in Emacs. I mean, there's no need to uh, go crazy about it. Okay, stand by. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste into Emacs. Except I can't, so I've got to go through XRDB X clipboard. Um, okay. Copy. Why is this not working? You can't see it, I know. Um, this is not cool. Copy. I don't want you to open it, I just want you to give me the frickin' copy. Not here. Okay, it's copying the word certification for some reason, not the location. Okay, I'm going to do an open. This is getting really ugly. I'm going to have to do page info. God damn, this is getting bad. I cannot do anything with this. Okay, stand by. I'm still working on it. I still know you can't see me.
There we go. I finally managed to copy it into the clipboard, which will let me copy it into foobar, which will let me copy it over here. Um, and I can just probably do an include of it here. There it is. And I'm I'm going to go ahead and use it with these uh, parameters, even though I'm pretty sure that these are uh, these are not. Uh, you don't really need this. Uh, let's see. The file stations.js is a JSONification of um, that. Jasonification. Okay, I think I'm winding down a little bit here. I think I don't want to rush in posting this. Um, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop now. We and I probably also need to eat at some point. Um, I think I'm human, maybe. Um, okay, so thank you for watching, everybody. I'm going to end the stream. If anyone's got any questions or comments in the last few seconds here. Uh, let me know. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and end the stream now. Thank you for watching.